Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor of Buying Past Light Pro, and as requested multiple times, today I'm going to show you how to adjust daylight brightness in the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. Alright, let's make this happen. To start things off, have the SUS shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Okay, let's begin. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate composite1.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. To be able to adjust the brightness of daylight, there are three distinct values that we're going to be editing, so let's find them. First off, scroll down until you found line 2500. This piece of code here is what determines the brightness of the ground around your character. So if the terrain looks a little too bright for you, you can just add in a lower number to decrease the brightness. If you'd like my personal advice on this one, I'd change 0.9f to 0.5f. Alright, on to the next value. Scroll down 16 lines until you found line 2516. Now, what this piece of code here is designed to do is adjust the intensity of the sky specifically, meaning this has nothing to do with the clouds or the sun. So as to balance the result I'm leaning towards for this tutorial, I changed 0.6f to 0.4f. If you'd like to tweak this around yourself, then it's the same as before. Lower number means less brightness, and vice versa. Okay, on to our last piece of code. Scroll back up a little and locate line 2307. For those of you who think the sun in particular is just way too bright, here is where you can mess around with the intensity. Same as the last two, add a lower number to decrease the brightness. So that I could even out the rest of the changes I've made already, I'm going to change 500.0f to 220.0f. As you can see in the cinematic portion of the tutorial, the reason I didn't choose an even lower number is because of this. The lower the number, the sharper the sun will look on the side of your screen. I found that 220.0f was pretty much a good compromise, so I decided to leave it at that. But of course, you can always test this out on your own. That's all there is to it, so let's check this out in Minecraft. When you made it back in game, you'll first notice that Minecraft doesn't look overly bright anymore. So for those of you who requested this tutorial, I hope you're happy. <laughs> anyway, if this tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.